Hello, uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, today I will I will talk about uh, sorry how to change this. Okay, this is the summary of the of the talk. Uh, I will talk about the versatility of of dyed lasers. I will present them as as a good tool for industry. Then I will talk a little about uh, the dyed lasers that we produce our company at our company Monochrome, which is located in. Uh, in Villanueva la Geltrú, which is close to, to Barcelona. We are a company of 33 people. And finally, I will talk about the La Share project, uh, especially regarding my, the assessment in which we are involved, which is called FLAT. Okay, so I will start. Uh, first of all, I want to present the diet laser, something that probably most of you know which is that uh, laser diodes are uh, the most efficiently, uh, efficient light source up to date, uh, which could reach up to 70% of electro-optical efficiency. Of course, this depends on the wavelength and the uh, semiconductor material, which is also related. Uh, but also, it's, it's important to, to mention that they are involved with almost every type of uh, laser source nowadays. Either as, a, either as a direct application or as an optical pump source. Uh, just to mention the, the main fields of applications, we have the material processing, medical aesthetics, metering detection, illumination, and telecommunications. And all this is for, for direct applications of diet lasers. Of course, you have other laser systems which involve uh, diets as a pump source like diode pumps, solid-state lasers, fiber, laser, fiber lasers, disc, disc lasers. But uh, all these uh, applications in material processing are uh, day by day more and more um, um, feasible with direct diodes. Okay? Uh, just to put uh, a figure about the, the evolution of the market uh, with lasers, in 2014 we have the in uh, here shown the, the, the perspective, but uh, we see a, 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 a continuous growth of the sales regarding this, uh, this product, the, the, the laser um, systems, in which almost 50% is related to direct diets. Uh, probably uh, the rest of the, of the laser systems involves diets as well, but uh, almost 50% is only diet-based uh, laser equipment or laser components. Um, well, I want to, to mention that in our company, we mainly made, uh, make um, high-power diet laser uh, systems. Uh, we are an OEM manufacturers. And uh, the main um, trends, the main features of our lasers is that they are, they are very robust compared to other technologies for mounting uh, semiconductor laser diodes. Um, the main features are the, the low maintenance, the high brightness, because there is a low smile, I will show you later about this. Uh, the flexibility and integrability of these um, uh, components. Uh, I, I show you here, as an example, a picture of a laser stack in which uh, we have several uh, diode laser arrays uh, stacked in, into, into this uh, architecture. And also to emphasize the simplicity and low cost of diode lasers compared to other, um, to other laser systems. And here I show you just for comparison the, um, the advantage of uh, semiconductor mounting of monochrome uh, comparing to, uh, to the typical contact contacting methods of other suppliers in which the, uh, the laser bar, which we say, what we say is the, the diode array, is normally uh, soldered to the, to the electrodes. Uh, we have in here shown for comparison the hard soldering and the indium soldering. Um, and uh, for comparison, our system, which is just mechanical clamping, there is no material interfacing the laser diodes and the electrode, the copper electrode, which is finally, which transmits the electricity, the, the current to the semiconductor and evacuates uh, the heat generated at this, um, at this small piece of semiconductor. Okay. And also for comparison, I show you uh, a picture of uh, what we obtain with our clamping system 
um, the laser bar, which is very um, very straight. The emitters that we uh, that we see, uh, they are very straight because there is no deformation of the of the laser bar due to the the mismatch in the um, thermal expansion coefficient between the laser material and the soldering material and the electrode. Okay. Uh, just to show you um, that in our portfolio we have other uh, products which are based in, in the end or, or related to lesser diodes uh, like uh, high power diode, po diode pump solid state lasers. Uh, also we, we cover the low power range under uh, 100 milliwatts, also pumping chamber chambers and also the electronics that we need for uh, driving the, the current to the laser diodes. Okay, so uh, I will talk about now about the the Lachere project in which we are involved in the in the assessment called FLAT. Uh, first, I will I will show the facts and figures in which you can see the uh, the structure of this assessment in which we have a supplier of laser equipment which are us monochrome. Then we have an industrial end user, which is in, in this case Johnson Controls, it's a big company uh, all over the world, which uh, um, in this case, uh, I, I will emphasize this, their um, product portfolio uh, regarding the, the metal parts for uh, back seats of, of, uh, auto, uh, for the automotive industry, okay? And also there is the research institute which uh, makes the, the support to the experiments, uh, providing uh, knowledge and experience uh, to define which will be the best um, parameters of the laser system to implement in their technology. Okay? And uh, to define which is the main objective of this project uh, is uh, to talk about the the, the process to uh, form metal sheet parts, okay? Um, there are several techniques for, for forming the, the sheet parts, the metal sheet parts that are mounted in the automotive industry, and in this case, um, we, we are related to the roll forming uh, technique, in which you have um, a metal sheet, um, Piece that pass through several roll for rollers, and they uh, they form they make uh, the shape of this uh, profile then to mount it on the on the seat parts. Okay, so this is a mechanical process, but in this project, what, what we want to implement is the laser uh, to assist this process to reduce the mechanical force and also to improve uh, the quality of the. Of the material that is um, that is manufactured, uh, because by applying heat you reduce the force of the rollers, and also you allow uh, the metal sheet part to uh, to have zero spring back after the roll forming uh, process, uh, and also it uh, it allows to 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 make to reduce uh, the radius of bending of the of the metal parts thanks to uh, heating up the, the part, okay? So the benefit is mainly related to um, reducing the energy, the, to the overall energy uh, necessary for uh, forming the metal parts, okay? And also improving the quality of these uh, metal parts that are produced by Johnson Controls. Okay, so this is everything from, from my side. Thank you for your attention.